Hello, my name is Dmitry. You are watching Pasyan's Show channel. Today is another video from the series of videos dedicated to games from Board Game Geek contest of solo PNP games. We cover all the games from this contest together with Chris, Matt Veselko and Sirtekos. In the description to this video you will find the links to their channels. You are very welcome to go there and check what kind of games they prepared for you today. The game from my side this week is uh, a little bit special, so you are very welcome to watch. Enjoy! Hello! I have gathered you together today to tell you that our special forces have come across a very interesting information. We have found a piece of important intelligence that we believe is an encrypted instruction to send foreign secret agents to Soviet Union or behind the Iron Curtain as they like to call it. We have found this information on the website which is called boardgamegeek.com This piece of evidence comes in the form of a board game, a solo board game, but we believe that this is a encrypted instruction how to send spies, secret agents. This game is called Behind the Iron. It is absolutely clear from the symbols on this game is that it is dedicated to the Cold War. We see here hammer and sickle, the fist, the star, and the letter R reversed, which is, you know, in our language is letter Y. So let's look inside. This game is only nine cards, but they are double-sided. It is very clear that this game is very easy to hide in your pocket. It is a uh, spy gear. What you need to do to play this game is to put the uh, behind the iron card aside and then shuffle all the rest cards the rest eight cards. You may turn all the cards as you like. You can even flip some of them in any direction. After that, you put the behind the iron curtain to the back and then you can play it in your hand or you can keep it on the table. Every card in the center has some symbol what you can do. You can do two things. Either you do what you see in the center of the card or you just send this card behind the curtain. When you send the card behind the curtain, it is like you are sending your special agent to the foreign country behind the Iron Curtain. So either you do this thing or sending it back. When you send your card back, you can lay it on the table because there is no way to have your agent back because our anti-spy agency is working very well. Nobody is going back. So, for example, this symbol means that you can turn this card either 90 degrees clockwise or 90 degrees anti-clockwise. And this little, little star means that after that you are forced to send this card behind the iron curtain. For example, let's do it this way. We will not make this action. We just send this card behind the Iron Curtain. 
Now we see another card. This is the same card. So we are turning this card 90 degrees. What we will do is probably that we will turn this card like this and after that send it behind the iron curtain. Now here we see another different symbol. This one means that we may flip this card like so on the other side of the card. And after that we can send to the third position. We count one, two and three and then we send it on the third position. But before that we must turn flip it like so. So let us think a little bit. What will happen if we turn it, for example, like this? It is not very interesting because here we see empty symbols, which is not very good. I think we will not do anything. We are just sending this card behind the iron curtain. Now let's look at this card. This card has different symbol. This symbol means that we, we can turn 90 degrees any card behind the iron curtain. So we are like connecting to our special agents and tell them to do something. But in this case, I'm not sure I want to do anything. I think that we will just send this card behind the iron curtain as it is. And here we see the same symbol, so we can do the same thing. And I'm probably, I will just send this card behind the iron curtain. Now let's look at this card. Again, we can flip this card like this and then send this card on the third position. One, two, and put it here. Well, yes, probably this side is better. So I think I will do it. I am flipping this card like so and sending to the third position here. Now, this symbol means that I can turn 90 degrees clockwise or anti-clockwise the card number two, this one. And I think I will do this like so. And then I must send this card behind the iron curtain here. Okay, this symbol means that I may turn card number three 90 degrees, but my card number three is behind the iron card, so I cannot do anything here. So the only thing that I can do is send this card behind the iron curtain here. Now, the only card that is left is this one, and it is not very good because I can do anything here. I cannot send anything behind the iron curtain with this symbol. You may understand that in this situation I must flip it like so and then send it back. But in this situation I just can send it only here, nothing more. And here we have a game over because our time is over and we must calculate the points. The aim of this game is to earn as many points as you can. Every point is as far as we can understand is the number of special agents that you can send behind the iron curtain. So let us calculate. The scoring comes in the rules. You will get eight points, which means eight spies. If there is only one of these icons visible, we look only at the right side of our line. 
and we see here two stars which means that we were not able to earn eight points here because it we will earn eight points only in case we have only one star but we have two so zero points again we will earn three points for each group of exactly two of these icons reversed letter r placed next to each other but zero points if there are three or more of these icons next to each other here we see four icons of letter r reversed in this case unfortunately again no special agents for us no points three points for each of these icons our hammer and sickle that isn't next to any of the same icon okay in this case we have this symbol which is not close to any of the same so finally we have three points next rule is most unclear rule this rule we couldn't exactly decipher we will get three points for each of these icons has a card on one side with r reversed but no hammer and sickle or fist and the card on the other side with sickle and hammer but no r reversed or fist and vice versa as far as we can understand is that every separate symbol will give us three points but in this situation i think we have zero points again and finally we will get five points if the fist icon is a group of exactly three icons so again nothing here that we can earn points so in this game we have earned only three points which is a great victory for soviet anti-spy agency only three spies has come behind the curtain but from the point of view of the game we were not very successful absolutely unsuccessful in this game so we will have to investigate more about this game to find out what stands behind this strange piece of intelligence and we will keep you informed so that's it from my side guys for today this is a very interesting game as far as i can understand it's very cute very small very smart uh, it has this uh, very little nice touch this envelope that you can carry with you it has the scoring sheet on the back of the behind the iron card when you can score points today my presentation was very poor because uh, i earned very little um, amount of points and it takes only a few minutes you can have a play then uh, shuffle it again and play again so no problem i think from the point of view of the design the idea and the theme everything is very cool so if you are interested please go to the description of this video and find the the links and also the links to the videos from my friends matt chrissy veselko and certecos and that's it from my side for today thank you very much for watching i see you in the next video bye bye